Hello, everyone. Uh, this is my uh, uh, my name is James Pruitt. This is my seventh lecture on generating functions, and I didn't finish what I started last time, so we're going to go back a little and uh, uh, finish that. And what I was doing last time uh, was trying to find the multiplicative inverse of one minus three x plus two x squared. Um, and the only method I have to go about that right now is what I described in my theorem when I proved that if, if a, a sequence has a non-zero uh, constant term, then it has a multiplicative inverse. In, in that theorem, I described a process to construct a multiplicative inverse. And I followed that with this. I, I started off, I wanted to get rid of the 3x term, and I multiplied by 1 plus 3x. And then that produced another. and the next term I had to get rid of was the 7x squared term. And then when I multiplied that out, I got a, 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 a polynomial. And then when I had to get, I, I needed to get rid of what had this net, uh, 6x cubed term. So I had to get rid of that term. So w what, it, what I ended up after I multiplied these polynomials together, I had 1 minus 49x to the fourth plus 40 2x to the 5th minus 36x to the 6th plus 294x to the 7th minus 252x to the 8th. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, now the next, um, the next uh, 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 term that I want to get rid of is this x to the 4th term. But um, I think this process is going to go on forever. So, so uh, I don't have that much time. So. Uh, this is what I've got. This is the partial construction of the multiplicative inverse. Is this guy right here? Um, uh, so, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and multiply what I've I've done so far out and see if that inspires me or or gives me some information that I can make an educated guess of what this uh, the multiplicative inverse of this guy right here is. This one minus three x plus two x squared. And um, and then once I make my guess, I can multiply it out by the by multiply this 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 uh, sequence by my guess. And if it turns out to be the multiplicative identity, then my guess is right. If it doesn't, my guess was wrong, and I have to uh, try again, find some other way to do it. So when I multiplied these these guys together, I got one plus three x plus seven x squared plus fifteen x cubed minus eighteen x to the fourth minus forty two x to the fifth. Uh, minus 26x to the sixth. Um, let me uh, let's see. If that's that's uh, six times three, right? Seven. They're all negative. Okay. <clears throat> and what I was arguing last time. Uh, let's, let's go back up here. I want to get rid of this negative 49. So if I'm going to uh, multiply something else here, it's going to be one plus 49x to the fourth. So if I was to multiply this guy right here by 1 plus x, uh, 49x to the fourth, um, that's not going to uh, affect this, 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 or this. Everything from here on out will be changed. Uh, so, so these guys are going to be static all the way until I complete my multiplicative inverse, until I complete the process. Um, th this, 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 and this uh, will all be static. So, so my multiplicative inverse has to um, uh, contain these guys. And let's see if I can write that down here. Let me go ahead. So, so if I was to guess, so I was to guess, I would have to guess B not equal to 1, um, uh, B1 equal to, if B sub n is my sequence, then I'm guessing equal to 3, uh, B2 equal to 7, uh, B uh, 3 equal to 15 because these guys are static because when I start at multiplying more polynomials the first one I'm going to multiply is 1 plus 49 X to the fourth and that fourth term is not going to create any uh, terms uh, less than 4 so uh, these are the these are the ones I have to incorporate into my guess and and it looks like these terms have a pattern, and to me, they're one less than a power of two. So I would guess that b sub n is equal to two to the n minus two to the n plus one minus one. 
Uh, so two, if three, if I plugged in three into that, I would get two. Three plus one is four. Two to the four is sixteen. Minus one is fifteen. I plugged in two. Two plus one is three. Two to the three is eight. Minus one is seven. Uh, two squared would be uh, four. Minus one is three. Uh, two minus one is one. So so they all, this pattern uh, this guess uh, includes these these guys right here. So going going down, I wrote this out earlier. Um, let B n be my guess, in which I, I've done up here for the multiplicative inverse of A n, where A n is defined as A naught equal to one, A one equal to negative three, A two equal to two, A n equal to zero for n greater than two. <coughs> the generating function of this sequence A n is just one minus three x plus two x squared. So now we're going to go and multiply these out. So we got, I'm going to write this bn is equal to, let me see if I come up, bn is equal to 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1 and a naught is equal to 1, a1 is equal to negative 3, a2 is equal to 2, a n is equal to 0, n greater than 2. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, let cn equal to a n times B n. Yeah, I want to keep that down to a certain to right about there. So we got Z zero a uh, C zero is equal to A zero times B zero. And um, A zero is one times B zero is is uh, B zero is equal to two to the zero plus one minus one, which is equal to one. So that's one. That's equal to one. So so far so good. C one is equal to a zero b one plus a one uh, b zero, and that's equal to a zero is one b one b one is equal to two uh, to the one plus one minus one, which is equal to two squared four minus one is three. So that's going to be three uh, plus uh, a one is negative three. And B0, we've already calculated, is 1. So that's going to be equal to 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to just jump right ahead and do CN. CN is equal to, <coughs> uh, we have only have three non-zero A terms. So those are the only three terms we have to worry about. So so the rest the rest of these ANs are going to be 0. So they, they're going to negate any contribution anything else will we'll have. So CN is equal to A0. Uh, bn plus a1 bn minus 1 plus a2 bn minus 2 so 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 we got um, I'm going to bring it we, 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 get, we know what, what all those are so I'm going to bring it up here so so we're going to fill that in cn is equal to a naught is 1 times uh, bn is 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1 plus a1 is negative 3 times b um, times 2 to the n minus 1 plus 1 uh, minus 1 plus uh, a2 is 2, 2 times 2 to the n minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. So we're going to do some stuff in our head. So I'm just going to bring that out. We've got a 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1. Uh, we got a um, negative 3 minus 3 times 2 to the n minus 1 plus 1 is 2 to the n. Um, negative 3 times negative 1 is plus 3. And then we're going to have a, a plus uh, 2 times 2. n minus 2 plus 1 is n minus, uh, uh, n minus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And then we're going to get a minus 2. And if we look, we've got a minus 1 and a minus 2 and a plus 3. So these guys cancel. And what we're left with is Cn is equal to 2 to the n plus 1 um, uh, minus 3 times, times 2 to the n uh, plus this 2 times 2 is going to going to come in here. I'm going to bring that in there. And so that's 2 to the 1 uh, times 2 to the n minus 1 is 2 to the n minus 1 plus 1, which is 2 to the n. And then I'm going to filter out this 2. I got this 2 in each term. So I'm going to distribute out this.
this too. So Cn is equal to is equal to um, uh, 2 to the n. So I'm going to get a 2 here. And when the 2 comes out, it's going to be left with a 3 here. And then I'm going to get a 1 here. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1 plus 1. So that's equal to 2 to the n uh, times 0. And that's equal to 0. So that's what we wanted to prove. So so we have uh, our, our product has a non-zero constant term equal to 1 and everything else equal to 0. So C n is the multiplicative identity. Therefore, um, BN defined by BN equals 2 to the N plus 1, 2 to the N plus 1, and then down here minus 1 is the multiplicative inverse of this a n whose generating function is So, so that's what we wanted to 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 to, to prove. So the generating function uh, would of uh, so one over one minus three x plus two uh, x squared is going to equal to uh, so two to the zero plus one minus one is two minus one is one uh, plus um, what did we say we got uh, two four minus one is three three x uh, plus um, eight minus one is seven uh, seven x squared plus fifteen x cubed plus uh, thirty two minus one is thirty one I think x to the fourth uh, plus um, uh, what did I say? Four plus one is five. Two to the five is thirty-two. Minus one is thirty-one. Uh, then we plug in five plus one is six, which is two sixty-four. Minus one is sixty-three. X to the fifth plus dot dot dot. Okay, that's what we wanted to uh, prove. So we're going to go on to another. Uh, I'll look at this another way. Um, let's see what we're sitting on time. And we're running out of time, so I'm just going to call it quits here, and then we'll jump right back in and uh, 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 finish up what I'm trying to do here. Okay, talk to you on the next lecture.